Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to print this. What you uh, ask, pray tell, is this? Well, it's a um, camera holder for the Wanho. So, um, tell you what, let's do a quick time lapse. Didn't take long at all to print it. We'll take a quick time lapse, watch this, and we'll come back. And we'll install it and see how it works. So, let's go. Time lapse. Now for a time lapse video. Ready, set, let's go. Well, here we are back so we've pulled it off the bed and we've taken a look at it so here's what it uh, looks like in short let me make sure I get it in the frame I have they got the Ricoh camera so I just use a quarter 20 bolt on this uh, which is the plastic spacer I had around you can print one out to whatever height you want um, and it just screws into the tripod mount of the camera and what it does is slips on here and the thing is if you want to use it with an iPhone or whatever you can move it so you know if the iPhone lens is over here it's centered on your bed and again you can move it back and forth also depending upon your camera I've arranged this oops get in frame so you can slide it forwards or backwards and the back seems to be a, a good distance so uh, my goal is is uh, actually to attach a web camera to this um, basically permanently. However, uh, I have seen a problem. This bed, when it comes forward, hits it. I didn't anticipate, and it's kind of hard to see that this secondary bed down here is actually not that high up off the uh, the actual uh, front of the, the Wanho. So, um, I'm going to actually... Let's actually take and measure that for grins and giggles. So we'll get the calibers out and see if we can do that relatively easily. And uh, not sure if these. Yeah, this is. Uh, this should work right here. Because that's the same height. So. Basically, 1.82 millimeters is the height, so I'm going to have to be about 1.7. To be honest with you, I don't know if that will hold the weight of that camera, because what I was doing is thinking of trimming this down, make sure I get this in frame, trimming this down. However, it's only going to leave me 1.84 millimeters here of material, or actually it's going to have to be less than that for it to clear it. I'm going to try it and see. I'll, I'll do another prototype. Uh, however, most of, the, most of my prints don't come that far forward on the bed, so we'll just have to see how that works. Um, so, because one of the things, let's talk about the design a little bit. So, I've added these ears to, because I didn't want a huge, um, you know, lateral space. So when this sits on here, what happens is this keeps it from tipping. It actually makes it very stable. And then one of the pieces I wanted to do is, as you notice, this one's longer because what I wanted to do is have a bait and short of cantilever backwards action to make sure that, um, you know, because more back torque is going to be placed on this than forward. And then also, as you see, I made this a, a bit bigger. So it just hangs on with this piece, and this piece actually shares the load to the back sliding on. And actually, fits in very nice, uh, nice, nicer than I thought. So the only thing I can really do is give it a shot and see how it works. Um, the web camera I'm going to mount on here permanently is going to be lighter weight. However, I did want it to be kind of um, universal. I'm actually wondering um, if I shouldn't come from below and have it sort of snap on the top. I don't know. Might be able to do something like that. Yeah, we'll have to we try a couple different things and and see how it goes. Um, hmm. Anyways, so uh, I don't. I'm not sure if I'm going to upload this just yet to Thingiverse. Uh, if I do, it's 
it's going to be is uh, still work in progress. Um, however, again, I did want to share this because I really like the, the, the idea because one of the things I do want to do is hook up Octoprint to this and uh, run, Oct run this whole setup from Octoprint print so I can sit in my office next door and send files to it and everything else rather than have to walk in here and, and launch it and still be able to watch it printing and all that kind of stuff. So, hey, anyways, uh, if you found this interesting, um, give it a thumbs up. Even if you didn't give it, find it interesting, give it a thumbs up anyway. What does it hurt? Just a thumbs up and uh, click it down there and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.